रेप एन ऑफेंस अगेंस्ट रेपुटेशन ऑफ फादर और हजबेंड ऑफ विक्टिम दिस स्टेटमेंट वॉज वेरी मच ट्रू इन हिस्ट्री बट येस दिस सिनारियो इज चेंजिंग टूडे बट स्टिल इवन टूडे मैरिटल रेप हैज नॉट बिन क्रिमिनलाइज इन इंडिया सो वॉट अबाउट रेप डन बाय हजबेंड इज ही नॉट गिल्टी वॉट अबाउट कंसेंट ऑफ वाइफ और अगर हम इंडिया की पैट्रियार्कल सोसाइटी के बारे में बात करें तो लोग इतना भी नहीं मानते कि सेक्शुअल इंटरकोर्स के लिए वाइफ का कंसेंट जरूरी है रिसेंटली आई पार्टिसिपेटेड इन नेशनल लेजिस्लेटिव ड्राफ्टिंग कॉम्पिटिशन एंड आई एम प्राउड टू सी दैट आई अलॉन्ग विद माई टीम रिसीव फर्स्ट प्राइज इन द कॉम्पिटिशन रिमेंबर द पॉइंट दैट श्रेया मित्तल मैम हैड स्ट्रेस्ड अपॉन दैट डी ड्यूरिंग अ फर्स्ट सेशन वेन वी रियलाइज दैट देर इज अड टू मेक अ लॉ वी नीड टू कंसिडर ऑल द अदर अल्टरनेटिव ऑप्शन विच आर अवेलेबल टू मेक अ चेंज इन सोसाइटी सो एज टू कर पॉजिस ऑफ क्राइम and not just draft a law and implement it similarly even we have tried to adopt this approach while drafting this bill just try to think about what thought a woman might have when she becomes victim of marital rape does she really wants to get her husband punished or she wants a change in his behavior moreover what do you think why is the punishment inflicted what is the purpose of it is it really to deter the crime and if yes will it completely deter all the people from committing any crime Also, let me tell you the real situation of our country. According to National Family Health Survey 2015 and 16, almost 99% of domestic violence incidences go unreported. What are the reasons? They are dependency of women on their husbands, illiteracy, and so on. Then, what do you think? Would the justice be done to all the women even after criminalizing marital rape? I would say no, because it is very difficult for a woman to open up herself, speak out her problem, or even if. file a criminal case against your husband in a society where maybe even her parents would not listen to her this society considers a marriage to be a holy union between a man and a woman filled with love and affection but at the same time it must not hold back a woman to seek justice if a right is being violated because of this marriage now by considering all these facts and circumstances let's talk about the solution before that let me make it clear that rape is a rape and thus marital rape is as heinous as otherwise probably it's even more heinous as we women with no means to get away from the relationship would have to suffer it not once not twice but forever but still we are of the opinion that the case of marital rape has to be treated differently when it comes to doors of court according to us appropriate way to handle this is reaching to the root cause of the problem and thus changing mindset of husband we agree that it is not at all easy but in some cases mindset may gradually and surely change where a person would realize that how it has become problematic to the society and his partner itself because of the patriarchy which has dominated his mind thus we put forth in this bill a procedure to file a complaint to magistrate as per form provided in this bill who in return would ask protection officer to assist the complainant protection officer would then ask service providers which would include psychiatrist and psychologist to provide counseling to the complainant's husband for a period of 3 months over this period they would prepare a counseling report consisting of timeline of behavioral or mental change of husband and then forward its copies to magistrate during this counselor would try to make him understand the expectation of his partner significance of her consent and making him realize how his wife is emotionally as well as physically affected after such incident called as marital rape now this report would help in two ways one that it will be helpful to bring societal change to a certain extent and the other that if the counseling has been a failure the report would be used as corroborative evidence to support the argument of wife or maybe even against her when she would file criminal case against him after the counseling if it has been a failure Thus, it would also make a little easy to prove or disprove the factor of consent based upon the counselling report, based upon the behaviour of and mindset of the husband in such cases, as it would help the court to vary the probability of truth of wife's oral testimony. Also, we have put a clause which gives power to court to directly consider the case of marital rape without mandating counselling to them in certain cases of exceptional hardships to the victim. This would be decided by court on case to case basis. For instance, woman who has become victim of marital rape along with some other crimes like cruelty and is in no way capable physically as well as emotionally to be with the accused anymore. 
the punishment for committing the crime would remain the same that is rigorous imp imprisonment up to 10 years which may extend to life imprisonment along with the fine this whole process would surely be a successful attempt to give justice to women vulnerable to offenses like rape regardless of their marital status only if it is considered to be very essential and would be done not for the sake of doing it but with a strong motive to change the mindset of the society and serve the purpose of law truly, which is to regulate human behavior. For this, duties of central and state government to ensure publicity of provisions of this bill, effective sensitization of this topic, effective coordination between service providers have been defined in this bill. Here, the duties of protection officers would also include informing the complainant about her right to file a criminal case and ensuring that she is provided with legal aid under Legal Services Authorities Act Protection officers shall be under control and supervision of magistrate. Appointment process by state government and the qualification or eligibility required to become service provider or protection officer has been described in the bill. And this bill shall have prospective effect. Here, we are not giving accused a chance to improve himself because we consider marital rape to be less heinous. But we are giving him a chance because we think that this is what his wife would want at first instance. At the end, we all must understand and make others understand that it's not the constitution which gives us these rights, but the origin of these rights lies in being human. The constitution just guarantees these rights and thus it has to protect these rights through different legislations. But first, it has to make efforts to imbibe the quality of being human in each and every human being. Thank you so much.